Begin creating a cane that's going to be cut into fourths for the inside four quadrants of the salmon cane. Reduce this cane and cut into fourths. You want the four pieces to come together with the white segment in the middle. From here you can start to build a larger cane with a top half and a bottom half to the salmon fillet. The goal for this is to have the grain of the meat on the top go in the opposite direction of the grain on the bottom. Begin to flatten and reduce the cane. Because this cane is made up primarily of whites and translucent, I really recommend you freezing the cane and your blade prior to slicing. If you rush this, you run the risk of distorting and smearing your cane. If you've noticed there's some smearing and distortion, you can slice the tops off with some of your sharper blades. Begin adding texture and detail to the grain of the meat with a ball tool or a needle tool. To give texture to the salmon skin, you can use the side of your X-Acto blade. Because I intend on slicing this fish and showing the inside, I used the last bit of my salmon cane to sculpt my fish. Roll out a very thin sheet and begin to sculpt the fins. Prior to baking, I add the soft pastels just to create a base color. After I do this, I add some liquid Sculpey and add the fins. I use my heat gun just very, very briefly to adhere the fins to the fish. I like layering with Prismacolors because it doesn't get inside of the grain of the fins. The pencil, when used lightly, just touches the tops of the texture. When it comes to colored pencils, I definitely think you get what you pay for, and you don't want to skimp on the brand. Prismacolor is a really good choice because the colors are very vibrant. After the colored pencils, I just use a little bit of acrylic paint to sort of touch up some of the areas that I want to be light and dark. I added a small amount of Pearlex pigment with my fingertips to the top of the scales, and I added some black spots for detail. Lastly, I added some silver paint just to make the iridescent sections pop. I added a small glass bead to the eye socket and topped it with some Lisa Pavelka resin which I cured under a UV lamp. This will give the eye a domed wet look, making it look like a fresh fish. 